Hey boys and girls, welcome to Kids Church Online. Today we're going to be learning about the day when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Yesterday was Palm Sunday. And so today we're going to actually hear from the donkey that Jesus rode on. So, today let's welcome Dave the donkey. Howdy everyone! Hey Dave, so I heard you actually spent some time with Jesus. Yes, it was the best day of my life. Would you like to tell us about that? Oh, would I ever? It all started in my village. Two of Jesus' disciples came and untied me. And I was like, what are you doing? But to them it just sounded like, ee -aw, ee -aw, ee -aw. But then my owner came out and asked them what they were doing. And they understood them. And they said that the Lord needed me. Wow, were, were you scared at all? Uh, kind of. But mostly I was confused. Why would Jesus want someone like me? I wasn't anyone special. I was small and I had no experience. I had never even given anyone a ride before. Wow, but, but Jesus, he saw a purpose for you, didn't he? Yeah, when I finally met him, he was so nice. He pet me and gave me some food, my favorite snacks, sour gummy worms. Mm. And he told me that he had a purpose for me. Wow, that is so cool. It's, it's awesome to know that Jesus wants us no matter who we are. Yeah, and my big purpose, it was to carry him into Jerusalem. Wow, mm -hmm. what an honor. Well, do you know what was going to be happening in Jerusalem at this time? I wasn't too sure at first, but when I got close to Jerusalem, I heard a lot of noise. People were everywhere. They must have known Jesus was coming and who he was because they had all gathered together waiting for him and they started praising him. And they were even lying down palm branches and their own clothes on the path down in front of us. They were honoring Jesus. Wow, I bet that was awesome. Oh yes it was. I heard Jesus saying he rode into town because he was going to save everyone from their sins. Wow, well, Jesus sounds like a pretty awesome dude. Oh, yeah, I'll never forget him. And do you know what? There are still people talking about him today. You're right. There's a lot of people talking about Jesus today. And do you know some ways how we can show our love for Jesus today? Uh, hmm. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Pastor Travis, you could give him a ride on your back, too. Well... I don't think I'm going to be giving Jesus a ride on my back, but I think there are some other ways that we can show love to Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, um, oh, what about singing? Those people were singing and shouting such nice things about Jesus. You're right. We can sing praises to Jesus. We can worship him. And another way, using our mouths, we can actually talk right to God through our prayers. Oh, 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 Pastor Travis, we can also read our Bibles. That's right, Dave. Mm-hmm. So, um, I actually think that I want to talk to God right now. You want to talk to God right now? All right, yeah, I do. let's close and let's have you pray for all of us right now. Okay, all right. Um, dear Jesus, thank you for all that you've done, and thank you for using us small people and small donkeys just like me. Um, uh, you are really awesome, and I love you so very much. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for praying, Dave, and it was great to have you join us today. Thank you. I'm glad I could be here. Now I'm going to go think I'm going to praise Jesus some more, okay? All right. You know what? While you praise Jesus, I think me and all the kids watching, I think we're going to praise Jesus too. <gasps> so we're going to join Miss Stephanie as the kids keep watching as we worship Jesus. Oh, that's great. Sounds good. I love that, Miss Stephanie. Okay, bye. Bye, Dave. All right, kids. Keep watching and join Miss Stephanie as we worship Jesus.
I have here a folding chair, but I need a volunteer to come up and sit down in it. Hey, you, over here, come on up. Go ahead and sit in the chair. Hey, whoa, what are you doing? What do you mean? I told you to sit in the chair. Go ahead. Whoa, stop. Why? You're not sitting in the chair. But I had to open it first. But I told you to sit in it, not open it. Whatever. Does anyone think she could have done it? Can anyone sit in that chair without opening it? You can't sit in a folding chair unless you open it. A folding chair has four legs to support you, but when it's folded, it only has two legs touching the ground. Without those other two legs and the seat down, you can't sit in a folding chair. Sometimes in life there are times when you just want to jump ahead. You want to dive in and do something exciting, but you can't just jump in and do what you want. For example, you can't run onto the football field and play wide receiver when you've never practiced with a team. As another example, you can't do surgery in a hospital without going to college and medical school first. You have to take care of first things first. What's sad is there are people who jump ahead and do what they want without putting first things first. And the biggest thing most people forget to do first is seek the Lord. If you have an important decision to make, you should take it to the Lord. If you are starting something new that will require your best, you should pray about it. Even if you're going to start a new project to serve the Lord, be it volunteering or starting a band, you should take it to the Lord first. Am I saying that God will booby trap you if you don't go to him first? No, but God knows you and your heart better than you know yourself. God has a plan for you, and if you want to live that plan to the fullest, you need to get right with God first. Matthew 6.33 tells us to seek God first and all these things will be added to us. That doesn't mean we'll get everything we want. In fact, when we seek God, our plans could come to a screeching halt. But if that happens, it means God has another plan. A plan bigger and better than anything you could imagine. But first things first, you need to seek the Lord. The story of Easter. The triumphal entry. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town, and Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and we'll return it soon. Okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset. Hey, Jesus! And they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, Blessings on the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, Who is this? And the crowds replied, It's Jesus. 
and Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry, just as God said he would many years before.